Hi there, it's Mr. Hegarty here and welcome to another video. Um, it's a GCSE revision video and it's the 13th in the series and it's on trial and improvement. Just to remind you, these videos are for short, sharp, focused revision on B and C topics just to make sure you've got those foundation topics sorted um, uh, so you can get at least a B or a C in the higher paper. If you want more detail or for higher level topics, do look on the Hegarty Maths website. So what we're doing in this video is try and improvement. The question looks like this. It says the equation, um, and we've got x cubed add 5x is equal to 67. It tells us an equation and it tells us what, we, what it's going to be equal to. Has a solution between 3 and 4. We're, we're usually always told that. We're asked to use trial and improvement, so when you see trial and improvement, make sure you spot that it's this method going on. To find this solution, give your answer to one decimal place. So they're the key things. What you know this is a trial and improvement question. It will have an equation. It will tell you the solutions between two numbers. It will tell you to use trial and improvement, and usually your answer is to one decimal place. There's a very, very specific way to answer these questions. It's the same every time, and I'll show you how to and how to get the marks. Okay, what you do is you set up a table. So we're going to set up a table, draw a table, and we have three columns. The first column, a small column, the middle column, a large column, and the end column, a small column. Okay? So make a revision card of this example, and then you're going to do the exam questions afterwards. The first column is your x value. We are going to try x's until we get the x that gives us 67, then the x to one decimal place that's closest to 67. In this column, we're going to work out the value of x cubed add 5x to see how close it is to 67, which, which is what we want. And we're going to make a comment. So if we try an x that's too big, we're going to write too big. If it's too small, we're going to write too small. So let's do that. Now, it has a solution between 3 and 4. Try halfway between 3 and 4, which is 3.5. So try x is equal to 3.5. And what we're going to type in our calculator, it's very important we type this. We're copying this here, except where we see x, we're putting 3.5. So we're going to type in our calculator with brackets. It's very important to use brackets. 3.5 cubed add 5 multiplied or brackets 3.5 okay very important you exactly copy that function down and you replace the x with 3.5 putting it in brackets don't forget this 5 some students forget that so get your calculator out and what you're going to type is you're going to type open brackets 3.5 close brackets cubed and then you're going to say plus 5 open brackets 3.5 you're going to press equals at the SD button, it's 60.375. So you get 60.375. You wanted 67, so it's too low. So you write too low. So because it's too low, you're going to try an x higher. Now, you always go up in one decimal place. Don't jump around, don't jump up to 3.9. Make your next guess one higher, 3.6. So try x is 3.6. Just to know, if you were too high, you'd go down to 3.4. But in this case, because we're too low, we want to go up a bit. Now, if you set your calculator up the way I've, I told you to, what you can do is you can press the back button, change that to a 6, press the back, 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 change that to a 6, and just hit, hit equals, and it tells you it's 64.65. So 3.6 cubed plus 5 multiplied by 3.6 would be equal to, what do we say, 64.6, 64.6. Again, it's too low. So you're going to go up one. Don't jump, remember, just go up in steps of one decimal, of, of, of 0.1. So the next one you try is 3.7. How did we say you can do that? Calculator, just press back, change the 6 to a 7 in both cases. Saves you a lot of time. And press equals, you get 69. So 3.7 cubed plus 5 multiplied by 3.7, I think we get 69.153, 69.153. Now that's bigger than the 67, so it's too big. Now, let me just quickly show you how many marks we've got. You get a mark for your first guess, halfway between 3 and 4. And then you get your second mark for when you find two consecutive one decimal place numbers 
okay, well, one's too big and one's too small. So because that's too low and that's too big, and we've got it 3.6 and 3.7, that is the point at which we get a second mark. So it's very important you go up in increments of 0.1. Don't jump around when doing this. Don't jump up to 3.9 and jump back down. You will not get the marks for that. Go up slowly like that. So that's our second mark. Now, in order, this is how you have to do it in the exam. You always have to try halfway between these. So you have to, you absolutely have to do this. You can't just say that looks like it's closer. You have to try x is equal to halfway between the two numbers you found, so it's 3.65. So you work out 3.65 cubed plus 5 multiplied by 3.65, and you work that out. So go back to your calculator, jump back there, change that 7 to a 6.5, go back here, change that 7 to a 6.5, and you get 66.8, so 66.87. Again, that's too small. Okay, so then... Uh, that is your third mark for trying halfway between the two consecutive decimals you found. The last mark is to state your answer, and this is the easiest way to do it, and I'll explain to you why this works, but always do this. Draw a little picture. Okay, draw a little picture with the three last items you've got. So 3.6, the smallest, then 3.65, then 3.7, and write down that 3.6, looking across, was two small, so small, 3.65 was too small, and 3.7 was too big. So the answer uh, is nowhere between these two because it's too small all the way along. Here it's too big, so along here it's too small, here it's too big. The answer must be slightly closer to this side, so 3.7 is your answer. So x is equal to 3.7 is your answer. Now an easy way to think about that just think, the small, small, it's always the one on its own, the big one. It will either be small, small, big, or big, big, small, or something. The one that's on its own is always the answer to one decimal place. So x is 3.7 to 1 dp. Now I'm going to show you every try. That's it for the um, note-taking. I'm going to show you every uh, past paper question that's come up in trial improvement. Pause the video at each point, try it, and then I'll show you the answers. Here's the first question. So pause the video, I'll show you the answer in 10 seconds. Okay, the answer, I'm not gonna go through it, I'm just gonna show you the answer here, and I'm gonna show you how I did it and where I got the marks. Firstly, because you know there's a solution between four and five, try 4.5 for your first mark. Because it was too low, start going up in one decimal places. I went to 4.6, it was still too low, so I went up to 4.7, it was too high. At the point I found a low and a high beside each other, that was my second mark. Then I had to try exactly halfway between those two, which was 4.65, my third mark. Drawing my picture with 4.6 too low, 4.65 too low, 4.7 too high, the one on its own, low, low, high was the answer, 4.7. Four marks, uh, that would have been my fourth mark here. So four easy marks when you know how to do it. Next one, pause, have a go, and then I'll show you the answer. Okay, so uh, going through this, uh, here's the answer. So our function was x cubed subtract 5x, you were trying to get 60, a solution between 4 and 5. So I tried 4.5 for my first mark. It was too high. So then what I did is I then went down to 4.4. That was still too high. I went down to 4.3. That was too low. At the point where I had two consecutives, one high and one low, that's where I got my second mark. Then I tried exactly halfway between these two, 4.35, which was my third mark. Then I drew my picture, 4.3 was too low, so I wrote L, 4.35 was too high, so I wrote H, and 4.4 was too high, so I wrote H, so the answer was 4.3 for my fourth mark. Next one, pause the video, have a go, I'll show you the answer.
Okay, so the answer to this one, um, here's my table. Uh, the, the solution between 4 and 5, I tried 4.5, it was too low, so I went up to 4.6, it was again too low, so I, uh, that was my first mark, my first try. Then I went up to 4.7, it was too high. Having found a consecutive pair where one's low, one's high beside each other, that was my second mark. I tried halfway between, which is 4.65, that was too high. Drew my picture, 4.6 too low, 4.65 too high, 4.7 too high, 4.6 was therefore my answer. Next one, have a go at this. Okay, so this one, here's the answer. I'm sure you're getting the picture now. Now, there was, not, there was a solution between 2 and 3, so I tried 2.5 for my first mark, too low. Then 2.6 was too low. So then 2.7, still too low. 2.8, still too low. 2.9, too high. Only at that second point do I get my second mark for finding the consecutive. Then I tried halfway between to get my third one. And I had uh, 2.8 low, 2.85 low, 2.9 high. So 2.9 was my answer. Next one, have a go at this one. Okay, it said x cubed add 4x squared add 150 as a solution between 4 and 5. Draw your table, this time slightly more complicated with the 4x squared. So I tried 4.5, too high, Four, then I went down, 4.4, still too high, 4.3, still too high, 4.2, too low. So my first mark for a try, then I got my second mark where one was too high, one's too low, but they're beside each other. My third mark for trying halfway between, and my fourth mark for stating 4.3 is the answer. Okay then. Uh, the very last uh, question here, which had a bit of um, uh, geometry mixed in. This, it has two parts, 11, part A and part B. Pause the video, have a go. Okay, um, now, for the first part, um, we had to work out, with this, it said the volume of this is 100 more than the volume of this. To get the volume of this, you work out the area of the front, which is x times x, which is x squared, and you multiply it by the depth. So the volume of that is x cubed. The volume of this, you do 2 multiplied by 5 is 10, and you multiply it by x. So the volume, volume of shape A, we'll call it, and the volume of shape B. So the volume of A is x cubed. The volume of B is equal to 2 times 5 times x, which is 10x. Because uh, if you subtract them, therefore x cubed subtract 10x is equal to 100, which is what you want. Now, the key thing here, um, it says use trial improvement to find the value of x. This is the thing we're trying to solve. We're trying to solve this here. So our equation is in the previous part. So we're trying to solve x cubed subtract 10x is equal to 100. And we have to work out our value of x. Now, it did not tell you uh, the two whole numbers that x is between. So in this question, you actually have to find them yourself. So when you were drawing your table with x there, your x cubed, subtract 10x there, and your comment here. You had to start off by finding the two whole numbers that is between before you go to decimal. Right, and this is how it turned out. So I'm going to just show you this here. You could have tried 1, 2, 3, 4. I straight away chose 5 because I knew 5 cubed is 125. Take away 10 times 5 would be 75. And then uh, with 6, I knew it would be bigger than 100. So I found 5 and 6. That got me one mark. I tried in between 5 and 6, which is 5.5. That got me another mark. And I kept going until I found 1 too high, 1 too low, which was 5.4 and 5.3. Then I tried in between 5.35. I drew my diagram. 5.3 too low, 5.35 too low, 5.4 too high. So 5.4 was my answer. And that's every question that's come up of, of that. Hope you found that useful.